books for model railroaders and rail enthusiasts on Ron's Trains and Things right now. Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroading tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure and subscribe down below and click the little bell icon so you can catch future videos. On this channel, I try to share with you a variety of helpful resources for model railroaders and for rail enthusiasts. That means I share with you uh, techniques and tips for kit building, for building scenery, for operations for model railroading, as well as tools and resources that can help you have the knowledge and the skill that you need to do what you want to do as a model railroader. Well, today I'm going to share with you a little different kind of a resource than I normally do, but something that I think many of you will really, really enjoy, so I hope you will pay attention. Today I want to share with you some reading resources that can help you both as a model railroader as well as as a rail enthusiast. So I'm going to share with you four books today that I have read and have immensely enjoyed and have benefited from greatly. The first book is A Compendium of Model Railroad Operations from Design to Implementation. This book was published in 2017 by the Operations Special Interest Group, or OPSIG, of the NMRA. This 300-page book is beautifully, colorfully illustrated with photographs, with charts and information that is incredibly helpful, and has chapters filled with written information that will describe for you in great detail uh, areas of operation from the design of the layout for operation, crew and jobs for operating sessions, um, passenger operations as well as yard operations, signaling, uh, car forwarding, train authority, and much, much more. I recently purchased my copy of this book and I have thoroughly enjoyed reading it. I've read a lot about operations over the years from various resources, including from the Operations Special Interest Group, but this is perhaps the best collection of information covering the full range of topics about operations that I've ever seen in one place at one time. Now, this book can be a little harder to find, but I found mine at Arizona Hobbies and was able to order it there. If you'll search for it on Google, you should be able to find a place where you can pick up a copy. It is a slightly pricey book, but it is large format, 300 pages, hardcover, and well worth the price for the information that's in it if you are interested in and into operations. The second book I want to share with you is a resource about real-world railroad operations called The Railroad, What It Is, What It Does by John Armstrong. Now, most of you will know John Armstrong's name as a model railroader and as the author of Track Planning for Realistic Operation. This book, however, is not so much directly about model railroading as it is about real-world railroads and how they do what they do and the things that they need to accomplish what they do. I understand that this book is used by some railroads as required reading in the training process for their new employees. It is that detailed and that quality as far as a description of real-world railroads. In this book, you'll find information about railroad technology, about track work and track design. You'll find information about rail cars, both freight and passenger, as well as locomotives. You'll find information about train authority, about communications, about the different jobs within the railroad, and all kinds of detailed and engineering information about the physical plants and the actual materials used in the process of railroading. This is a fantastic book that will help you better understand how real railroads work so you can figure out what you need to incorporate both in modeling and in operations on your model railroad. I'm so glad that I picked up a copy of this. It's a great resource. It's not a book you're going to sit down and read cover to cover. It's not that kind of a story. But when you're needing some information about a particular truck or about wheels or about rail cars or about operations, it's a great place to go to find out how the real railroads do it. The railroad, what it is, what it does. Now, before I tell you about the last two books that I want to share with you today, I want to talk just a little bit about an important event or an important recognition that is coming up in the world of railroading. 
As most of you know, on May 9th of this year, we will celebrate the 150th anniversary of the driving of the Golden Spike that marked the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. Many of us are aware of this this year because uh, along with that celebration in Promontory Summit, Utah, Union Pacific has been restoring for the past couple years a big boy, number 4014, which will make its debut run and will be rechristened at Ogden, Utah as part of the celebration of that anniversary of the driving of the Golden Spike. I was fortunate about 10 years ago to be vacationing with my family in Utah and to be able to visit Promontory Summit, the the actual location of the driving of the Golden Spike. There's a wonderful little museum there. They have uh, built recreations of the two locomotives, the 119 and the Jupiter, that were part of that uh, celebration and have been in that very famous photo that you see right now taken at the ceremony for the driving of the Golden Spike. And we happen to be there on a Saturday when they reenact uh, the events of the driving of the Golden Spike. And I got to see those uh, that reenactment for myself. And here's a photograph that I took. And as you can see, sitting in the amphitheater looking across those tracks, uh, there's not much that has changed in that area. It is a fantastic spot to to check out if you happen to be traveling through or vacationing in central Utah. I highly recommend it. And if you get the opportunity to be there as part of the anniversary celebration, I'm envious because that'll be an exciting time. Now, having said all that, I want to tell you about a couple of great historical books about the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. The first one, and definitely my favorite, is this book called Nothing Like It in the World, The Men Who Built the Transcontinental Railroad from 1863 to 1869. This book by Stephen Ambrose was published in 2000 by Simon & Schuster. Some of you may know the name Stephen Ambrose. He is the historian who wrote the history A Band of Brothers, which was the basis for the HBO series several years ago, directed by Tom Hanks, about the men of Easy Company in the 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne, who were involved in D-Day, the Battle of the Bulge, and were on the front lines virtually throughout the European campaign until the end of World War II. Stephen Ambrose is a great historian, and he is a fantastic writer. He's written a number of books about World War II, as well as a couple of presidential biographies. And in his library of books that he has written is this great history of the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. In this book, you'll find a vivid portrayal of the events from the earliest vision and conception of the Transcontinental Railroad in the early 19th century through the planning stages that were led by presidential candidate and then president Abraham Lincoln. You'll learn about the struggles that took place in order to make the railroad happen while the nation was in the middle of a civil war. And then you'll learn about the men and the companies, the Union Pacific and the Central Pacific, who led behind the scenes, who pushed forward, and who did the actual driving of the spikes that built that railroad all the way up to the driving of the Golden Spike. Stephen Ambrose does a fantastic job of portraying uh, these events in a wonderful story. Reading the book is almost like watching an incredible adventure movie, and I highly recommend this. Nothing Like It in the World by Stephen Ambrose. Finally, a good follow-up to Stephen Ambrose's book is this book, Railroaded, The Transcontinentals and the Making of Modern America by Richard White. This book, published in 2011, describes how the men who built the Transcontinental Railroad and the railroad itself contributed to the late Industrial Revolution, created what is known today as the Gilded Age, and contributed incredibly to modern America as we know it today. This is a great book that is written as a series of biographies of men both well-known and little-known who were involved in the building of the Transcontinental Railroad and their contributions to technology, to science, to industry, and to culture in America 
throughout the latter half of the 19th century. This book provides an avid portrayal of the events of those years following the building of the Transcontinental Railroad, and it dispels some common myths that you may have believed along the way as well. Railroaded is a wonderful book uh, about the stories of the people who built the Transcontinental Railroad, and again, I highly recommend it. Now, if these books are of interest to you, I'm going to provide some links to the last three that I mentioned uh, from Amazon in the description down below. They'll be my picks of the week this week, uh, so you can find links to them there. Now, if you enjoyed this video about some resources that will help our understanding of railroads and this model railroading, you might enjoy some model railroading videos as well, and I'm going to provide a link to some of them in the corner of your screen right now. I also hope you'll check out the description below where, you're, where you'll find those links to these books, as well as my Micromark promo code that can save you 10% on all regularly priced items, tools, paints, models, and more at Micromark.com. You'll also find a link to my Patreon page, places that you connect, connect with me on social media. Well, be sure and join me each Tuesday as I bring you more great model railroad tips, tools, and techniques, and I look forward to seeing you then. Ten, Lizzie?